Hello friends, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is AJ and I'm attempting to write and publish my first fantasy novel. In this video, I really just wanted to bring you through a week in the life and keep myself accountable in a vlog diary series as I attempt to get Project Dark Water to 50,000 words by the end of the week. Now I'm starting with a little over 30,000 words probably close to 33,000 words. So that would mean I'd have to get between 17,000 and 20,000 words in for the entire week, which is honestly pretty crazy when I think about it. But I'm thinking of this as a warm up, a little introduction, a stretch to get myself ready for the November that is rapidly approaching. Let's just jump right into it. Hello and good morning. So I don't know if you can hear, but uh, we have some birds who are singing and building their nest uh, up on the roof above our window. Okay, so it is currently Monday, October 21st. And at this point, you've probably heard about the goal for this little video series. I'm just gonna take you through a week in the life and attempt to get my manuscript to 50,000 words by the end of this week. Now that's really, really crazy, but sometimes I like to shoot for uh, crazy goals and then see where I land. Very much reaching for the moon right now and it's okay if I land among the stars. I actually have to log on, do a little bit of work, probably gonna make some breakfast, eat, um, answer some emails, uh, schedule some meetings, and then go for a walk. And then hopefully after the walk, I'll see you guys back and we can do a little bit of novel writing together. Let's take a quick note of where we're starting this week. So I'm starting with 33,093 words in my manuscript so far. I've managed 469 words today. Now that hasn't yet been added into my total. Originally, when I woke up this morning, I thought it would be fun to attempt to get 50,000 words by the end of this week. I think if I'm being realistic, there's maybe like a 10% chance that's going to happen. Let's just enjoy any success that we make this week and count as a win. I'm rapidly losing time in the day to get some of my things done. And I figured, you know, why not cook dinner and check in at the same time? It's been a little wild at work. We had a after hours meeting call and it wasn't too bad. It wasn't like too, far after hours, um, but we did just finish and I'm running late on making dinner. And that's important because I uh, am going to run low on blood sugar soon. If you guys are like me and get pretty hangry, um, I should probably have some food before I start writing because I'm either going to do something bad to a character when I'm hangry or I'm just gonna be grumpy. The quick progress update is that I managed to net about 2,000 words so far in the manuscript. Now half of that is actually a scene that I've been waiting to pull into the manuscript for part two. So I have a couple of scenes, and I know I've mentioned this potentially on some videos before, but I have a couple of scenes that I am saving to insert into their appropriate spaces in this current draft. And so I've been trying to get to this point in part two where I can finally insert that scene in there and I was able to do it. So I'm really excited, but I also didn't realize it was a thousand words. And so I basically wrote close to a thousand words today so far and I've dragged a thousand words into the manuscript. Just wanna be completely honest because trust me, <laughs> writing 2,000 words in a day is pretty difficult. <laughs> At least I think it is for a day that's pretty work heavy and like chores heavy. Writing 2,000 words can sometimes feel like climbing Mount Everest <laughs> sometimes. 
<laughs> okay, I'm digressing. Um, so yeah, so that's about it. I'm very tempted to go back into earlier parts of the draft and start to do like superficial editing, like to start going through and making the scenes flow a bit more because there's a lot of choppy scenes right now as I'm just trying to get through draft one. And I'm trying to fight the impulse to do that kind of editing just because I don't want to start going over some of my earlier work and then spiral through imposter syndrome and through like anxiety and feeling that oh my gosh, everyone's gonna hate this, I have to change everything, because I think that's gonna be counterproductive to the actual flow and is more like my inner demons <laughs> who are trying to win that battle with me right now. Here's the thing, I've, I'm deciding right now, now it is still Monday, so it could change. If I do manage to get 50,000 words in my manuscript by the end of this week, I think, I still feel the impulse to go back to part one and start to superficially modify, make things flow a bit more. I might let myself do that. I'll let that be it. That will be my stretch goal. If I get to 50,000 words by the end of this week, the next week I'm going to let myself go through part one and start to do some of those like tiny, teeny little editing touches <laughs> so that at least when I start to reread it, my eyes will thank me and my reading will thank me. Um, but yeah, okay, I've rambled on too long. I have to get my zucchini into the oven. So hopefully I'll see you soon, but if not, I will see you tomorrow morning. Hello, good morning. Um, it is around a little after 9 a.m. Tuesday, October 22nd. I did manage to make it to Alyssa's writing sprints this morning. I was able to get a little bit of the creative flow going. I forgot to put in my word count for those sprints, but I think it was a little over 200. Let me just summarize what I was able to accomplish yesterday on Monday. I was able to net around a little over 2,000 words um, in the manuscript. Half of this was a scene that I've been waiting to pull into part two where it fits and the other half was me writing up to that scene. I'm hoping to have a similar word count day to day, um, hopefully like in free writing so we'll see if I can get 2,000 words in. Very excitingly and what my brain is telling me is most importantly, my new small little like bookshelf came in so I'm gonna go down and grab it after I send those emails. And you know what? I'm not gonna be able to fight the impulse. I am probably gonna set up the shelves this morning, but I'm gonna force myself to write for at least 10 minutes in my manuscript before I set up the shelves. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't written yet, but I will now, before I do any of that, 10 minutes. <laughs> I will. I promise I will. Okay, I still have to figure out exactly how I want to arrange everything. I'll probably have to move some of my things off here to here because I'm not sure if I want to keep this shelf here, but I'm just excited to finally have something a little more than the bookshelf that I have back here. So we'll see. Hopefully the next time I film, it will have some stuff on it. It'll look a bit more aesthetic, but just wanted to take a second and show you my construction project. Just a quick check-in because it is now evening, it is almost seven o'clock and I need to start winding down for the night. But I managed to get a total word count in today of 2,163. And this is pure writing. This is probably one of the best writing days I've had in some time. And I'm probably gonna get at least a couple more words in. I wanna see if I can finish up the scene that I started a little bit ago, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to check in at that point. So ultimately, even if I stop right now, I have a little over 2,100 words. I'm going to sign off now and I will see you guys in the next clip. And um, yeah, take care.
Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, it is Wednesday, October 23rd. Um, I wanted to get a little bit of writing done this morning, but a lot of things happened at work that I had to address. So just as a wrap up from yesterday, so on Tuesday I wrote 2200 words. That's pure writing. So I got through two important scenes and then I'm hoping to finish up one scene today. I have a feeling that today's going to be a low manuscript productivity day because I have to be highly productive at work. So I might not be able to reach 2000 like I did yesterday, but we'll see what happens. I think that I'll probably check in in the afternoon with like a total manuscript word count. Cause I wanna see how close I am to 50,000 words and whether or not it's even gonna be attainable at the end of this week. And if my 10% possibility prediction still holds. So I'll see you guys later. Um, thanks for stopping by. Okay, just a quick check-in because it is 1 p.m. and I haven't done anything in my manuscript. I've been pretty busy at work and am now dealing with my chronic eye strain. So I'm gonna have to take a break soon, which means that I'm going to delay any progress in my manuscript until I am eye healthy enough to stare at some more screens. I did manage to do a little bit of setup here. Now, definitely this probably isn't gonna stay like this and I've got a lot of work to do, but I just had to do something that was not staring at a computer screen. I had a feeling today was gonna be a low productivity day, so we'll see how well this goes. Uh, maybe I'll take you for a little bit on my walk because we are starting to get some fall colors in, but other than that, I'm hoping to get at least a little bit of work done today, just stopping by <laughs> to keep myself accountable. Okay, so it is 4.24 p.m. right now, and I've only managed around 647 words for the day. Hey, with how absolutely crazy today has been, I'm just going to accept it. I mean, 600 plus words in a day, still not too bad. Um, and honestly, probably pretty good for a lot of people, especially when <laughs> you have a lot of other things that you have to do as well. Um, unfortunately, I still have some work stuff to do, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make any more progress in the manuscript. Um, I also have to give my eyes a little bit of a rest uh, because they are tired. <laughs> but this is, you know, this is what comes with the territory when you're writing and you spend most of your work day on a laptop. But to give you an update and a check-in for where my manuscript's total word count is, so I currently have 37,979 words just in my manuscript so far, so in this draft one of Project Dark Water. That is, uh, I hear that number and I just, the childhood dream of writing a book is being fed at the moment. <laughs> Cause it's still a huge number. It's still a great number. Um, I know I wanted to try to get to 50,000 words by the end of this week. I really don't think that's gonna happen. But even if I just manage to round out this week at around 40,000 words, Let's, I mean, I'll give myself an S grade for that. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. 40,000 words and then I'll be starting November with the manuscript at 40,000 words. Like, let's do this. That's how I feel. Let's get this done. All right, with that, I'm probably gonna hop back on to work, do some work, and then take it easy for the rest of the night. Okay, hi, hello, welcome back. It is Thursday, October 24th. So yesterday I did manage to get 1,038 words in, which is huge. 
considering how absolutely buck wild work was yesterday with meetings and like a lot of random like high priority things that I had to do that day but you know what we're out of those waters hopefully I'll knock on wood and I should be able to get in a little bit more today now I was able to hop on some morning live streams. Thank you so much, Alyssa, for the live uh, sprinting sessions and managed a little over a hundred words. I am still waking up. It is still the morning. I still need to finish a little bit more coffee before I'm a fully functioning adult human being. Hopefully work is not as crazy as it was yesterday and I will check back in with you guys later. Okay, so it is 5.30 and I've managed 1,551 words for the day. I'm dealing with um, a scene right now that I'm not sure if I'm going to like at the end of the day. It's getting the job done like plot-wise, but I'm just not sure if it is meshing well with the tone of the story and I'm trying really hard not to just scrap it because like I said, it's getting the job done. So I think I'm just gonna finish it. I'm going to leave it in with just a little bit of notes on the side um, for future AJ to deal with and just keep, keep going and get to the next scenes because I think if I try to stop and fix this scene now, um, it's just gonna end up halting my progress ultimately because I don't really have another idea to push the story along. So we're just gonna keep on trudging. We'll see what happens and I will check in later. Okay, it is currently Friday, October 25th, around 2.30 p.m. Um, just to give you guys a wrap up from yesterday, I managed a total of 2,453 words. And this honestly would not have been possible if it weren't for the sprints um, that were live streamed yesterday evening by Brielle, Becca, and Cody. If any of you guys are watching this, I doubt it, but thank you guys so much. I highly recommend you guys go check out their channel. They are amazing human beings working on some really interesting stuff and just highly recommend their um, author tube content. I digress. So ultimately, um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get much more progress in for the remainder of the week. So basically the weekend. One big reason is because I have to deal with an issue <laughs> At the moment, nothing too bad, just like an old injury that never healed correctly and is acting up, but it is delaying progress significantly. I also have some Halloween stuff that I'm doing with my fiance tomorrow, so tomorrow is just out of the question, not even gonna try to write. Ultimately, even if I don't write anything else for the rest of the week, I still manage to get my manuscript to 40,823 words. I mean, it's not the 50,000, word count that I wanted to get by the end of the week, which was crazy. <laughs> I think it's a massive number. I mean, it's my first real serious fantasy novel that I'm like, honestly didn't even know I was gonna get this far. Even if I stop now, it means that I have 40,000 going into November and I may be able to actually get a draft finished <laughs> at some point this year. <laughs> okay, I don't wanna take up too much more of your time with absolute nonsense and rambling. Thank you so much for sticking around and I'll see you guys, honestly, I'll probably see you guys Sunday for a weekly wrap up. Okay, it is Sunday evening and I'm going to call this weekly vlog series diary a wrap. In summary, I was able to get around 8,002 words into my manuscript. I started with 33,093 words and I'm ending with 41,095 words in draft one of my manuscript. That is equal parts exciting and then equal parts nerve-wracking only because 
November is right around the corner. Literally November is next weekend. I'm going to have to push myself in a similar manner that I pushed myself over the week to try to get to my 80,000 word count goal by the end of November. I'm very glad I did this. It gave me a sense of what I'm going to have to do to try and get to the 80,000 words at the end of November, but I'm going to keep reminding myself that no matter how much I'm able to do, it is going to be a success. It's just a matter of, am I gonna take the S grade or am I gonna get the A grade? <laughs> so it, rather than uh, work like free write in my manuscript, I'm going to go back and start doing like a rough chapter outline because I think spending the last week of October in a more prep-tober manner is going to help me in the long run when we go into November. It's just a matter of creating a better roadmap so that no, once November is here, I'll be able to hit the ground running. That's really all I had to share. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Let me know how you guys are doing and what you guys plan on working on um, as November comes in. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video series. Happy writing.